Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to rig up the Biospawn Exostick. I've been getting a lot of requests for this video. You guys seem to like my other two rigging videos I did for Biospawn. One on the Vile Crawl and one on the 6.5 Plasma Tail. If you guys haven't seen those videos, definitely check them out. I'll put both videos in the description below. Also, I won't go over any knot tying in this video. You know, just to save on time, we have a lot of different rigs to go over. But the knots that I would tie, you know, for this bait in this video, I also tie in the other videos. So like I said, definitely check those out. You know, to see how to rig up a Carolina rig, Texas rig, and all that kind of stuff. You know, the knots that I would tie. So anyways, let's get into rigging up the uh, Biospawn Exostick. All right, guys, first up, Texas rig. That's a round bend offset, four rot. Go in the bait. Come out on that seam line, but you keep it nice and straight. And with this bait, using this hook, you can go all the way through and then bury the tip. Normally you can't with a round bend offset. If you try and bury the tip when you go all the way through, uh, your worm won't be straight just because the point is offset from the eye. But with this bait being kind of like have a taper to it, you can do it. So line it up with your thumb, in and out on that seam line. Then just bury the hook point right under that rib there. You guys can see that? Like that. Keep it nice and straight. You can also Carolina rig this bait, and I would do it the same way. I'll just use a four out round bend offset, but in a light wire. You know, Carolina rig, you don't have a ton of feel. And uh, that lighter wire, easier penetration, you know, better hookups. So, a couple little modifications you can do though to the Texas rig. Get yourself a keeper. These are called the uh, Hitchhiker. You may have seen this on Fluke Master's video before. Screw that into the bottom there. Get yourself a swivel. Spinner made blade. I'm using the one without a snap. The way it's closer. The way it's closer to the bait. Rig that on the hitchhiker. Just slide it on there. Just like that. A little extra flash. Something else you can do before you insert the hook in the plastic. Get yourself a swivel with a snap. Put the hook point through the split ring there, and then finish your Texas rig. A little extra flash again. You can go either or, rig them both up. And you can rig that weightless or with a weight. All right, next up, Wacky Rig, and you can adjust your fall rate by either choosing the Pro or the XT. The Pro has more salt in it, it's got a faster fall. It's softer, so it has a little more action. The XT has less salt, it's gonna give you a slower fall. Uh, it doesn't have as much action as the Pro, but it's more durable. So if you're looking for an even faster fall, you can use a weighted Wacky Jig Head. I just like to go to the fatter part of the plastic here. Just go in and out, just like that. All right, for drop shot, like a 4.5 plasma tail, something in that range, or like a one out drop shot hook, you know, something I can use just for a nose hook. But when I step it up to a longer soft plastic, you know, I like a Texas rig style hook. That's a four rod straight shank, round bend, it's a light wire. And, uh, you know, when I step it up to this style hook, I step up my line as well. You know, 10, 12, 15 pound test, heavier weight. You know, power shot is what a lot of guys call it. But uh, a lot of you guys get confused when I talk about this style hook and not, uh, when you bring it through, you won't be able to bear your tip and leave your arm straight. Well, let me go ahead and show it to you guys here. If you go straight through here, like that, come out like a standard Texas rig, like you would do with an extra wide gap hook, because the hook points in line with the eye. Okay, if you go all the way through here, there's no way that you can keep that worm straight and bury the uh, the tip in the plastic because the hook point is shooting away from the bait. So if you try and bury your tip there, like that. Okay, your worm is no longer straight. So what you want to do is come in and out on that angle that we talked about before. Here's the angle right here. Okay, line it up. 
Now, your worm is nice and straight, and I can run my finger down that bait and feel the hook point. It's right there. So using 10, 12, 15 pound test, you'll have no problems, you know, popping that hook through that plastic. The plastic is plenty soft, the hooks are plenty sharp, you won't have any issues on a hook set. But that's how I rig up the Exo Stick on a drop shot. All right, next up, the Nico Rig, and this is a great bait for a Nico Rig. It's got a nice flat bottom to put your weight, and you can use one of those Nico weights. It's got a little ball on the end. You know, wave around some rocks and all that, you can make some noise. But I'll just use a little tungsten nail weight, shove it in there, and you can push it all the way in. You can just leave it out just a little bit, but you can still make some noise with it. I like to use a one knot. That's the uh, Aaron Martin Gamagatsu series there. And a lot of guys, they'll turn the hook in towards the bait or to the side, but I like to keep my hook point facing out. The way when you set the hook, there's nothing in the way of that hook point there. Just go in the bait like that. Just like that. I used an O-ring in my video for the plasma tail, but you don't have to use an O-ring, you can rig it just like that. And from there, one of my favorites, the shaky head. I've talked about this shaky head many, many times, owner finesse ball head, extra wide gap hook on there, go straight in, come out, rotate the hook, line it up. Then bury the tip. You are good to go. All right, guys. That's all the rigging options for the BioSpawn Exo Stick. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.